hello everyone and welcome to my channel in this video i will be showing you two methods of making the perfect akarakose and this video is a requested video by a subscriber of mine without further ado let's get started for this recipe you will need bell pepper abenaro pepper spring onions onions salt egg i will be using black eye peas for this recipe and you can use the brown beans as well i will start by soaking the beans with room temperature water and i'll be soaking the beans for an hour Soaking the beans is going to make it easy for the skin to come off the beans. And this is one hour later. The beans is soaked now and the skin can easily fall off. It's time to start cleaning the beans. I will be using the blender to break the beans so the skin can easily come off I add the beans and some water and i'm using the pause button of my blender to break the beans and i will repeat this process until i am done with all the beans And I am done. This is what the beans looks like. It's broken, not blended. And it's time to start cleaning the beans. You will need a strainer and you will need another container. So I'll open the tap, add water, and I'll be rubbing my hands with the beans. If you don't use a blender to break the beans, you're still going to repeat this process till all the skin comes off. I will be recycling this same water until when I'm almost done, then I'll get a cleaner water from the tap. You don't need to waste too much water to clean your beans. And if you don't want to go through the process of cleaning the beans and waiting, you can get the one that is already clean and the one that is already blended from any African grocery store. Notes. If you are using a blender to crack your beans before cleaning it, please do not soak the beans for more than an hour. If not, you're going to lose most of the nutrient from the beans when the beans is so soft before breaking it with a blender. So the beans is well clean now. I'm just going to rinse it. and leave it to get softened for an hour or more so it will be easy to blend and this is one hour later the beans is soft now and it's time to start blending the beans so here i have the bell peppers onions cleaned already i'm going to be using half onions half bell pepper and the abenaro peppers to blend the beans and i will be dicing the other halves so the beans is ready for blending. Add a little bit of water into the blender. Add the beans, peppers and onions. And this is where it gets tricky. When you are making akara, you need to use just a little bit of water to blend it. If you use too much water, the akara will not hold in the oil once you put it inside the oil is just going to be all over the place and scatter so you need just a little bit of water to blend the beans if you are using a commercial blender you tell them you're making akara it's not moi moi they will not add too much water and i'm going to repeat this process until i am done and this is what the blended beans looks like you can see i didn't use too much water 
and is smooth but not super smooth for akara it doesn't need to be super smooth add oil in the pan for deep frying and start heating it up I would dice the onions, bell pepper, and spring onions. And I want to say a big thank you to all my subscribers. You guys are amazing. Thank you all so much. If you are not subscribed to my channel already, please subscribe. Put on the notification bell and click on the one that says all notification. So you get notified each time I upload video. Please share my video and like the video as well. And you can also dice in any pepper of your choice. I already blended some habanero pepper with the beans and I don't want it too spicy. That's why I'm using bell peppers. And dice the spring onions as well. So that is done. Here I have the beans and I've divided the beans into two. One I'll be using egg and the other one will not contain any egg. Add salt. And I'll be using a hand to wix, to wix the beans until it becomes fluffy and light. And you will notice the beans starts to rise. This should take between 8 to 10 minutes. And this step is very very important if you do not wix the beans very well before frying it once you add it inside the oil it's going to sink down and the akara will absorb lots of oil and i'm done and this is what the beans looks like now is very very light compared to what it looks like before i started whisking it and you can feel it from the spoon as well that is light add the egg i'm using one egg if you're making more you can add more than one and whisk it till it is well combined. Add the spring onions, onions, and bell peppers, and stir. And that is done. It's time to start frying kose, and the oil is hot. I'll go ahead and add the beans, and you can see the beans is staying on top because it was well whisk before frying if you don't whisk it well once you put the beans it's going down the oil and you can cut to your desired size and i am frying on medium heat allow the kose to fry on one side before flipping it and this step is very important and once they are fried on the other side, go ahead and flip with a skewer. And you can flip them again. Once they are golden brown, take them out of the oil. And I'm using paper towel to color them and that is done. The second method, add salt. And I'll be using a hand wix to wix this one for about two to three minutes until it becomes fluffy. And that is done and you can see how 
light it is very light add uh, onions bell pepper and spring onions and this does not contain any egg and i will miss it so before frying again clean the oil and i'm using a strainer to clean the oil and the oil is still on the stove and add the beans And I'll use a skewer to separate them and allow it to fry on one side before flipping to the other side as well. And once they are golden brown, take them out of the oil and repeat the process until done. And I'm going to be having mine with custard in the bowl. I'll add in some custard powder. And mix it with room temperature water. And stir it it is dissolved. And add boiling water and stir. You can have your akarakose with pap, cocoa with bread with gari you can have it with anything of your choice and you can have it any time of the day food is ready i'll add sugar to my custard and i'll be showing you what the akarakose looks like inside it it was super soft and it tasted super delicious and you can store them in the freezer they will last for months when you want to eat it just bring it out pop it in the oven and warm you can also use microwave but i prefer to warm them in the oven it will look as fresh as the day you made it i want to thank you all so much for watching remain blessed and i will see you in my next video bye